In this series of videos, from now on, we will be studying about Paribhasha Prakarana, the chapter on technical terminologies explained in Rasa Shastra. In today's video, let us learn regarding the process of Marana. The word Marana is derived from Rinj Datu, which means Himsayana, that is to kill. Maryate Nashyate Bhasmi Kriyate Iti. In Rasa Shastra, this word has been used to denote the process by which hard matters like metals and minerals are converted into Bhasma form. Metals and minerals in general cannot or should not be used in their natural forms as medicament for internal use. They have to be converted into bodily absorbable forms. This can be achieved through procedures such as Shodhana, Marana, etc. Marana or Bhasmikarana is a procedure which helps to convert raw materials like metals, minerals, gems, etc. into microfine, tasteless and absorbable powder form which can be prescribed to use as medicine. Exceptions to this are certain drugs like gyrica, red ochre which are used after shodhana and marana has not been recommended to them. Definition Shodhitan loha dhatvadin vimardya swarasadi bihi agni samyogato bhasmi karanam maranam smritam Reference Dravyaguna Vijnana Levigation of metals and minerals with liquid extracts of medicinal herbs and later their exposure to heat is called as the process of calcination that is Marana. Bhasmi Karana is not mere transformation of metals or minerals into fine powder form of medicine. During the procedure, various herbal medicines are used such as Swarasa, Kashaya for Bhavana and Shodhana. Herbal drugs Churna are used in Jarana. It is believed that the properties of those herbal drugs will be present in the final product that is Basma. The process of Marana transforms the metals, minerals or gems into fine powder form, non-toxic, tasteless, bodily assimilable, organometallic, disease eliminating and health promoting medication. The process of Marana includes different steps. They are first comes Shodhana, Purification, then Bhavana, Levigation, Chakri Karana, Pellet Formation, Sharava Samputi Karana, Sealing in Earthen Vessel, followed by Subjecting to Puta, that is Agni Samyoga, then comes Swanga Shiti Karana, Self Cooling, Collection of Chakrika or Pellets, Churni Karana, Trituration of Pellets to find Powder Form, lastly Assessment of Basma to undergo Basma Parikshas. Present day authors have classified these steps into three main procedures that is Purva Karma, Pradhana Karma and Paschat Karma. Now let us learn the details of procedure of Marana, the different steps involved in brief. First comes Shodhana. Shodhana is the purification process by which physical and chemical impurities present in the raw drugs are eliminated by different procedures like Prithakarana, separation, Prakshalana, washing, Svedana, boiling in liquid media, mardana, grinding and so on. The detailed explanation of the process of Shodhana has been explained in the previous video. After Shodhana comes Bhavana or Levigation. It is the process in which metal or mineral powder are subjected to liquid media specific to those metals and mineral, pestling them and drying. The procedure of bhavana has also been explained in detail in previous video. Next comes chakri karana that is pellet formation. 
Once bhavana has been completed, the material is taken from the khalva yantra and made into chakrikas. The material taken is pressed between the fingers and palm in such manner to give them the shape of chakrika. Chakrika are round flat shape with uniform thickness similar to a coin but much thicker. The purpose of preparation of chakrikas is to provide proper and uniform exposure of heat during putta process. Once the chakrikas are prepared, they are then allowed to dry. Sharava Samputi Karana or sealing in Ardhan Vessel The dried chakrikas are then placed in Ardhan plates called Sharava. One Sharava is covered by the other which is kept inverted. The edges are sealed using mud and cloth and it is called Sandibandana. After Sandibandana, the Sharava is allowed to dry. Next comes the main procedure that is Putta or Agni Samyoga. After Sandibandana and drying of Sharava Samputa, it is then subjected to measured amount of heat by using Vanopala that is cow dung cakes or other fuels which include wood, coal, dried grass or tusha etc. Here we are taking the example of Putta method of heating by using Vanopalas. Further there are many Puttas explained even using Vanopalas which are Mahaputta, Gajaputta etc. Those will be dealt in detail in coming videos. So the Sharava Samputta is taken and placed in the pit containing vanopalas and placed above it. Then it is covered again using vanopalas. It is a common practice to place one third of total vanopalas above the sharava samputa and two third below them. Say for example, if we are giving gajaputa which has thousand vanopalas, one third that is two fifty have to be placed above and seven fifty vanopalas have to be placed below the Sharava Samputa. Then the fire is lit. Swanga Shiti Karana Self Cooling Once the Vanopalas are burnt, it is allowed to cool completely on its own without disturbing the setting. Collection of Chakrika and Churni Karana After Swanga Shita, Sharava Samputa is taken out. Sandhi Bandana is removed carefully. The Chakrikas inside are collected, put into Khalva Yantra and trituration is done and made them into powder again. If only one Putta is required, then it is used as medication after trituration of pellets. If more than one putta is required, then the powder is again given bhavana. Chakrikas are prepared and subjected to putta. The entire cycle is repeated till the bhasmas pass the test called bhasma parikshas. For any queries, doubts, suggestions, please comment below. Do like and subscribe our channel for more such videos.